The fugitive Madison attorney we've told you about is still practicing law despite his outlaw status. Jair Alvarez is charged with three felonies and two misdemeanors. He was part of a court hearing Monday as the lawyer for a criminal defendant. From Dodge County, Tony Galler reports on this attorney's moves. Madison attorney Jair Alvarez is a fugitive. Two weeks ago, his arrest warrant was issued after authorities said Alvarez threatened a roommate with a gun and attacked him with a baseball bat. But Alvarez has been public. Here at the Dodge County Courthouse, a hearing in a child sex crimes case appeared to follow standard procedure. There was one wrinkle. The judge allowed the attorney for the defendant to appear by phone. That lawyer? Fugitive Jair Alvarez. Documents show Alvarez told the court he was traveling out of state. UW Law Professor John Gross says the attorney's justification for needing to be remote may have left out too much. As somebody who's supposed to be ensuring that the public has confidence in our judicial system and in our legal system, um, I, I think it, it would be advisable to at least explain to the court the situation that you find yourself in. And Alvarez did say he's withdrawing from the case as he no longer works or lives in Wisconsin. The crime scene is no longer a home where he's welcome. The house that this whole incident happened in is actually my home. He did not pay rent while he was living in this house either. In a phone call, attorney Alvarez told me he's innocent. I'm not running. But not in state, only on the phone in court, fuel a fugitive status. In Juno, Tony Galley, 27 News. The, do the judge in Dodge County declined comment on Alvarez's participation in the Monday court hearing. Alvarez also requested to appear by phone in a Dane County case just hours before his arrest warrant was issued, but the judge in that case refused to allow it.